a video on how to add a new page for the um, new members for the St. John's Boosters website. We're using the Canvas theme and I'm just going to walk us through the steps. So first you have pages, all pages. And you see here when I scroll over that, add new comes up. So you'll hit that first. And then you put in the name of the page, in this case we'll say sample. Actually we'll say harvest homes because I know that's a new member that's coming on. So that harvest homes is the name of the new page. And then we're going to have columns. So what this website uses is columns to actually put this, the content in. So for that, you go to short code, click on it, and go to column layout. The first column that you're going to have is actually three columns. The first one is two thirds wide. The second one is one third wide. Then you hit insert. So what this does is it adds a picture here, and then this would be the content. So we're going to highlight this, hit return a couple times, go up, and then select add media. And I'll just add another picture that I know belongs on another page, and we'll just call it good enough. We'll do this one. No, not that one. This one. The pictures coming in from Deanna need to be 800 by 600 pixels. 800 pixels across, 600 pixels tall for them to work, and insert into pages right there, on this website. And Deanna knows that, so she'll put up pictures of that size. Then you highlight the next one. And here's where you have the tagline for the business. So you go up here. Instead of paragraph, hit heading two, and I'll say this is the tagline, okay? And then, um, let me go up and just see what we usually have on these. So I'll bring up another, another one here that shows us. So here's the one third column, that's a company name. Um, he didn't have a tagline, but if he did, We'd put it there. Hours, location, phone, email, and links. Okay, so let's go back to our page we're building. This is a tagline, and that's H2, and then we go to hours, which will be H3. And from there, we'll say Monday through Friday. Um, and then um, 8 through PM. We're just doing this. This is just a sake of pseudo one, but we'll get we'll get through it. Hours, and then the next thing is location, phone, email, and links. Okay, location. You go back up here again, and go H three, and this is the address. Ah. I also put in uh, Portland. To get the Portland directly underneath, I hit Shift, Return, and go Portland. Otherwise, it'll do a complete uh, paragraph, and you'd have a, a new line altogether. So it's Shift, Return. Okay, hours, location. What was the next thing I keep forgetting? Uh, phone, email, and links. Okay, phone. Again, we hit that's this is tricky. You got to learn how to do this. Phone. Okay, H3. Hit return. Now, this is where you're going to actually have to use coding to get that phone number incorrectly. So, you see, I have been working the visual editor. I'm going to go to the text editor. And you see, that's where we are right now. Phone. And so, I am going to go like this. You put a let me get rid of this non-breaking space because that will only confuse things. You put the greater than sign, A, and that implies a link. Google knows that's a link. All the search engines do href equals. And then you put a quote, and then you put tell. 
for telephone. And you hit a, a uh, colon, and then you put the phone number. We'll do my phone number just to make this easy. Okay. Then you hit quote again. Then you hit the sign to close off that. But right now, this won't show on the page. You actually have to actually type the number. Okay. And then you put another break, another there, break, A, and this. So this says it starts a link, and this closes the link. It ends it. And this is a telephone number, and this is a coding. It won't show. This coding shows. Go back to the visual editor. And there it is. There you go. So we're going to hit return. And then we're going to do the email. An email is similar, but not exactly the same. Again, hit heading three, hit return. So once again, I go from the visual editor to the text editor. And to do the email, let me get rid of this non-breaking space. OK. It's, again, the link. Now, instead of tell, you put mail to. And we'll put my email address. In quote. In there. And we write it again. OK. So this is the coding for it. It starts the link equals mail to and then the colon, the email address, a quote, and then the ending uh, to close that off. Then you actually add the actual coding the uh, email address again, and you close off that link. So what these then become are hot links. So anybody that, that sees this page can click on it and dial directly from their phone or uh, email directly from their uh, computer, their laptop or their phone. And then the final thing is links. And so we'll just do a sample one here. So adding buttons. First, let me get a link up here. Let's say I'm going to do uh, my Facebook page. I'm opening up my Facebook page, and we're going to go here to, let's see, our link web. So this is my Facebook address. Command C. OK, let me go back in here. So links. We go to short codes, button. And the title is going to be Facebook. And we click the link, Command V. There's the link to Facebook. That's all I have to do. I hit insert. That's it. Let's do it again just so to show how easy it is. Again, we go to short codes, button. And this time I'm going to put um, my website link. That's it. Insert. So now we have the first part of this page done. It includes the, the heading, the company name, the um, picture, and the hours, location, email. But we also have a second part of this page that comes on. And it depends a little bit on what the client has. With this one, we put a one third here, and two thirds here, and then put a um, image that went uh, across the top. For um, Ace Hardware, let's see what we have on it. Uh, this one was cut out as two thirds here with a wrap around going around the picture and a one third section over there. And then we split it up again uh, with these columns. So again, you can have a little bit more flexibility. Let's see what we did with Big Kahuna. Just, this just went straight across, and then, of course, a slideshow also all the way across. So what we're going to do on, just to give you a sample of what to do, 
remember we started this out with three column two. That means it's three columns. This is a two thirds portion of the three of the three columns and three column one last. This is a one third portion of the three columns and it's the last column of the series. So I'm going to do this again and this time we're going to start another column. We'll do column layout and we're going to do three columns again and we'll hit uh, two thirds and one third and insert it. So again, it's three columns, and this time I'm going to put content in this section. So I'm going to say this is lots of content about harvest homes. And they'll probably have a lot they want to say about themselves. You may put a, um, uh, a logo in there or something like that. And then we go to the one-third column. Hit return twice. Now, I talked about how the size of this picture needs to be 800 pixels across. The size of this picture, because it's only one-third, can't be more than 350 pixels across. So, we go up there, we go to Add Media, and let's do this one. And you see this is 350 by 525. Let's insert into the page. And let's go ahead and preview this. Oh, I made one mistake here. Let me close out of the preview. When you are doing a, um, a page for a, for a member of the boosters, you do not, you change this a little bit. Down here where it says Canvas Child Settings, it's on automatically having a sidebar. And that's why that X is there. It's, it's automatically sidebar. We're going to make it like this so that there will be no sidebar in this. So now let's do preview. Okay. And if we had more content, content here, we'd add it there. As long as I'm doing this, I'm going to give me a second. I'm going to get some iambic. Let's see. So, um, actually, that's not going to do that. What is the word? Okay. So, I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to show you guys how to put in a gallery. So, I went down one more time, and this time we're going to add a gallery. So, I hit Add Media. I hit Create Gallery. And we'll just do a variety of pictures. You see, each one gets checked as we do them across. Okay, I've got a bunch of pictures in there, and I hit Create New Gallery. Now, the next step, we don't want to link them to an attachment page, so we say None there, no link. This is all going to be one column. We do not want a thumbnail size, we want full size. We do not want a thumbnail grid, we want a slideshow. This is perfect for uh, Members who have a lot of product to show on their, and now let's go to preview. They want to show off their store, for example. It's taking a second to come up. Come on, wake up. Now it's doing it for me. Okay. So this would be the main picture for Harvest Homes. It's not really Harvest Homes, we know this. And this is their content about Harvest Homes. Then we've got Dolly down here, and or a picture or logo or something of Harvest Homes. And then we have this slideshow. And the slideshow, you can always add captions. This one has a caption I added to it, Play Area, Tinker Maker Toys. And the 800 pixel wide pictures look best for these slideshows, um, as you can see, but you could also stick the uh, narrower pictures in as well. So this is a sample page that has our layout that we recognize as being the layout appropriate for the different pages of the website, for the um, member pages. Okay. 
So I'm closing out of that. We've got this. What's the next thing? Well, I am going to publish it. Yes, I'm publishing it. And then I'm going to actually show you how to put it in the menu, even though it's a completely messed up page. I'll unpublish it in a little bit. OK, so now we have published the page Harvest Homes. Next thing is I go to Appearance, Menus. And as you can see, the new page Harvest Homes shows up here. I click it, and I click Add to Menu. You have to add it to the menu or it won't show up on the website. Now Harvest Homes is going to be a service, so we're just going to go ahead and put it up there. And the way this, we have a lot of pages on this website. So the way this is set up, we have Home, then we have all the arts and artists, then we have Eat and Drink, and those are all the restaurants, and then we have Shop, and those are all the shops, and then we have Services, and we have those broken out. Um, you know, I forgot one thing I was supposed to do on this. Back to Harvest Homes. I'm going to go back to the pages to Harvest Homes and do something else. Leave, which means that won't be saved. So let me go up here. I'm going to search for Harvest Homes. Search Pages. And it shows right up. Edit. There was another thing. So there's two things in addition to adding the content that we need to do on here before we publish. One was, of course, making sure that it has the layout without any sidebar. The second was to give it a parent. Harvest Homes is going to be a service. And so parent is going to be services. And I think that is probably the best thing for it. It's not barbers. Um, and I think well, health and wellness, it could be a service under health and wellness, too, because I know we have, here it is, wellness. We have a lot of services under wellness, but um, I'm not sure Harvest Homes would fit under that. Well, we can decide later. Let's say we put it under wellness, we could, but I'm going to put it under services for right now. Okay, hit update. And then we go to Appearance and Menus. So now we add Harvest Tunnels once again into the Add to Menu. We scroll down, it's going to be here at the bottom. You have to drag and drop it. So let's keep going. Come on, come on, Harvest Tunnels. And here's Services. Let's do right, oh my goodness, it's right above the funeral <laughs> Right above the funeral home. Okay, that was so bad. Um, then you have to hit Save Menu. <laughs> and then we go to Visit the Site. And let's go to Services. And we go straight down here. There's Harvest Homes. Just exactly the way we added it. We click on it. Come on. Come on, Harvest Homes. There you go. And um, so now I'm going to unpublish this because obviously we aren't really ready to have this uh, page in the website. So go back to Edit Page. It's taking a moment. There's a lot of pages on this website. Okay, and I am going to go from published to draft and hit OK. But that's not all I have to do. I think I'm still I'm, then I'm going to update that. Okay, this will be the page we play with tomorrow at the training. And let's go back and see if it's still in the menu. And it certainly is. Well, we don't want that in the menu, so we have to go back to the dashboard. We go to Appearance. We go to Menus. And we find Harvest Homes down here under Services. Where is it? 
so many services. Harvest Homes. And you, right here, you found it. You click on there and you remove it. Now it is no longer in the website, on the uh, menu, navigation of the website. We hit Save Menu. Takes a second to update. Then we go back up here, visit site, and Harvest Homes has been removed. So um, that's the video and review this before we have our training tomorrow.